Good morning on this fine Sunday morning. Kids are like farts. You only like your own. You ever heard of that saying? I, over my lifetime, have raised a lot of farts. I've taught a lot of farts in swimming, in fitness, in ESL, in school settings. I've taught them all from around the world. I know what people are like. Kids are just miniature people. Most of them are annoying. Some are okay. And very few you will really, really like. Really, really like. So, to answer the question, should you have kids? Well, it's all up to you. Nowadays, most people are opting out of having kids. Which I think is fine. Because you have options. Your parents, the previous generations, did not have the options that you have. So, they had no choice but to have kids. That was their only investment for the future, to have kids. So that their kids, your generation, would take care of their generation. Nowadays, people don't have to have kids. People don't have to get married. People can live alone. They can live atomic lifestyles. And be miserable, just like the rest of us. It's all up to you. But what I'm saying is, in this video, if you think you can't get married, you can't afford to have kids, think again. Because I see a lot of families that find a way. They found a way. And I'm going to tell you a quick story, a very memorable story, about how this is possible. Long ago, when I was living in Korea, I used to live in a lot of goshi tells. Now, if you don't know what a goshi tell or goshi wan is, it's basically a single room that you can rent out. Because when you live in Seoul, Seoul is very expensive, and you gotta put down like a ten thousand dollar deposit in order to rent a decent apartment, a studio apartment. So to save that ten thousand dollars, I used to live in goshi wans. Now, goshi wans are very cramped, very small. You probably know what it is if you've. Googled it, you watch YouTube videos, the horror stories. So, I knew my neighbors very well when I was living in a Goshi one. And I remember one time, one neighbor that I used to live with was very interesting because their door was always open. Their door was very open. So, you know, it's very tight, cramped, like dormitory style hallways with very single, cramped rooms, just enough to fit one human being. My neighbor, across from me, their door was always open and the light was always on. And guess what I saw across from me? I saw three people living in one tiny little room. There was a husband, there was a wife, and there was a baby. They found a way, through thick and thin, through financial hardships, to have a family. Now, this is just a, just a very rare instance, but when you go to all these poor countries, for example, like Thailand or Malaysia or where are Philippines, you notice that all the poor people have families. They have kids. How do they make it work? Do they have billions of dollars? No. Like I said, if you're poor, the only option you have for future investments are to have kids. So... If you're living in a Western country, in a first world country, find a way, all right? Look outwards, not inwards. Look outwards. Are you being too picky? Are your standards too high? Are you not willing to sacrifice? Because that's what it takes to have kids, to marry, to get a great, fantastic body like Papa Just. It requires sacrifice. And most kids these days aren't willing to go backwards to downgrade in order to have kids but let me tell you something whatever is worth striving for in life you're going to have to eat a lot of shit you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices so whether you have kids aim for an awesome body or go for that career that will make you six figures that you think will make you happy go for it and then learn the hard way love you take care bye